Good morning, everybody. I'm Vincent Meza. This is Listings to Leads. And today is our get started call. So this is really for our new clients to make sure you understand everything that's under the hood and how to turn on the automation. It's actually an important part of the system. So before we dive into it, I want to point out a couple of things. You've got tools for here. If you have listings, if you don't have listings and you want to get buyers and you want to get sellers, we have tools for you for that as well. You, the more tools you use consistently, the more leads you're going to get. And there are different, there's different kinds of leads. You can get some from social media and get some from Facebook, from Instagram, from, from Google. You could get some by blasting out e-flyers in your CRM. We've got great print tools that develop really high quality leads. So when you're thinking of your farm markets and how you're going to grow your business, there's a lot of content here. Again, whether you have listings or not, you've got stuff to reach out into your market and engage people. Let's go, before we dive in, let's talk about a couple of resources for you. As I mentioned earlier, this call is being recorded and every time we record it, we put it right on this channel right here. If this is our YouTube channel. Just look up listings to leads. I'll send it to everybody here who's on the call. I definitely... I recommend that you take some time and learn what's going on. And it's always funny when I send people here, there's 375 videos. I'm not asking you to watch all of these. What I'm suggesting is that you check out the most recent ones and the most recent ones are at the top. I go through three classes and Scott does some webinars as well, but Facebook and Google ads are super important. If you want to know what kind of ads to run on Facebook to get buyers or to get listing leads or how to use Google which is a great place for listing leads. You want to watch that. If you want more listings in your business, you'll notice that I do a class called top tools for more listings to get more listings. So you want to check that out. And if you're, if you're somebody who has a team or an office, you might want to hear what this guy just gave us a really cool review. He's a digital marketing from one of our long-term clients, Cole Baker Schmidt. But I rotate through these three calls, get started. Facebook and Google ads and top tools for more listings. And honestly, watching a couple versions of each of these can be really helpful for you because you will learn how to use the system, right? And it is a very powerful platform. As you probably realize, it's a very inexpensive platform. And, but if you don't use the tools, it's not going to really change the direction of your business. If you do use the tools and use them consistently and use some of the top ones that I'm going to discuss today, it will impact your business. It will get you more buyers and more selling. This here is our mastermind group, and this is on Facebook. And I can't send you an invite link. Actually, I can't always say that. If you are, well, the best way is to go through the support page so we don't waste time here. This is a private group on Facebook. If you are not in the group, you cannot find the group. So you have to go to support and say, Hey, can you get me in this mastermind? Group? Right. We usually send you an invite if you're a new client and it's where Scott and I talk about new technology that we're pushing or new things that are coming out, but also we get a lot of feedback from our clients. And this guy right here, Kelly is saying, Hey, when you're using the Google ad platform, don't read directly. So he's just telling you like he, he tests a lot test a lot of things and, and AB tests. So he knows, and he's telling everybody, don't switch up the URL or Google will block your ad. We'll talk about the Google ads uh, a little bit later. Uh, and then sometimes, of course, agents, they just have questions, right? They somehow don't realize we have a great support team. So they just randomly throw out stuff in here. And this guy says, hey, I'm running an ad and it's not generating any engagement. Can somebody help me look at this? And I took the time to get on the phone with him and his credit card was compromised. Once he fixed that, it started to work. But there's always questions. And also, um, there are always kind of recommendations or, or people telling us what they are doing with their system. And I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull up one right now because we're going to come back to her. Her name is Pat Mom. This lady put this post in here in September, just a couple months ago. And it's really important, especially for you. We're going to talk about this tool, but since we're here, I'll just show it to you. This lady is using one of our tools. 
piece of paper that we call the nearby homeowner letter. And she has learned from taking these classes with me that you have to mail this out at least once a month. A lot of our clients will put it out twice a month. She mails this letter out every time she gets a new listing. And then every time she sells a listing, she mails it out as sold. She also does something that none of our clients I've ever seen have done. She prints on the back and makes this look like an envelope. And then she handwrites the, the addresses. And why would somebody go through all that work, right? You might ask yourself. The reason is she's saying the last hundred pieces that I sent when it was just listed, I got four owners calling me for home values. That's pretty awesome to mail out 100 pieces and have four homeowners call, call you. She's so what she's doing here is telling us, Hey, now that the home is sold, I'm going to send out another hundred. She has been doing this for years. And if you look up her name, you'll notice that she uses these in condos and she just continues to generate listings out of condo deals. So let's get into the system because I want to talk about setup and I want to go a little bit deep in, which I don't typically do. If you've got an, if you start a 14 day free trial, we drop you on a wizard that sort of sets you up, which looks like this here. And I, I have meetings with Scott and our tech team. This you, you'll get dropped into this and we get some things, but it doesn't quite set everything up. And so I want to spend a little bit of time for all of you to understand how you can really make your system look pretty awesome. So. Auto posting is really the first thing you should do. You should connect all your social media accounts. If you have multiple business pages, you can go in here and you can select multiple business pages, right? And if you might have community pages, you can do that. And then you save that up there and that's going to put that there. A lot of you don't know, but we have property valuation, instant home value landing pages that we can auto post. So you. You turn on when you say, Hey, I want it once a month or every week or something like that. And you save it. Same is true for down payer assistance. Now these are landing pages. I'm going to show you where the landing pages are, but here you can turn them on and later you can customize them. And then here we got new construction. So we create for some of you in certain states, new construction is a big deal in other states. It's not even existent. So use this if you, if you want it. We integrate with a lot of the top CRMs in the real estate industry. If you might see an API here, if you don't see one here, you might have something from your current CRM, right? Something with maybe your name and all kinds of weird numbers. And then at the company, where, wherever your CRM is, that's a lead forwarding email. So if you don't see your CRM on the left here in this white column, then ask your, yeah, ask your CRM, do they have a lead forwarding email where you can send leads to? And if neither of those are options, you might want to look for another CRM. I will also tell you that to keep an eye on our system, because we have follow-ups and we have leads over here. So follow-ups are drip campaigns and leads are leads. And we actually have places to make leads to where you work, where you can go in there and uh, store your activities, log your calls, log your emails, do things like that, text like that. So we're going to make both of those more robust so that you almost don't need a CRM. We're not going to be super robust like the big crazy CRMs, but we also don't think you use all the tools that they supply. So we're going to keep it to just what you need. Keep an eye on that, that changing after the new year. First, set up auto posting. Second, set up your CRM. Because, excuse me, if you click here, where it says social media links, this is where you go copy the links from your social media groups, but there's not a whole lot dynamic happening here. What this is going to be is like, join me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, right? Where we see here in auto posting, this is actually a technology connection where we're going to be auto posting things for you. So this is a. It looks like it's the same, but it's not actually the same. So if you want to just have some links out there, people can follow, follow your network, then you go there. Lead gen signature is something that I think is really cool because you can embed this, you can copy it for Gmail, for email or for your blog. And this will be, you can embed it in your Gmail, for instance, and it will be your signature. 
the nice thing, there's a lot of great companies out there that, that give you these sorts of things. And what's cool about them is usually they look good, right? They got your picture and your logo, maybe your phone number, but they don't have any kind of call to actions in here. You can say, Hey, you know what? Go get your free home value. And that's going to point you to whatever home valuation page you've got going on there. There's also going to be quick here for your reviews. We actually have a page uh, that shows your reviews. And this is just really helpful. We, uh, I'll show you where it is. You can get all your reviews in there. You can see that we put a marketing plan, part of the listing presentation, not talking about listing leads, talking about what you are bringing to the table. You can snap in your own kind of testimonial. If you've got a client saying how awesome you are, there's lots of PDFs for buyers and for sellers. And if somebody wants to download one, they got to give you their contact info. So this is great. And all your listings are here, right? So this is just one little tool call and we embed it in your lead gen signature, right? Um, and so you might want to use that. And then one thing here is your appearance. And so you want to get your logo here, your full color one. If you have a white PNG one, you can put that over here. You'll notice that we have some color scheme themes for some of the big agencies out there. Or you can just say, hey, you know what, we're custom and I want to use that color. That works there. Another thing I want to point out is I, I think we're defaulting to luxury single property websites. And that's not really a great idea for me. I, let, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. There are two kinds of single property websites. Oh, we, oh, we can't see it. Okay. But I really prefer Legion. And that's because I think it's better for us to have leads and people to talk to because if things look really good, which is what the luxury system is all about, it's not going to capture as many leads as this one over here, which is lead gen, which has multiple call to action. And then if, but if you are like super into luxury and you want to say, yeah, I'm going to go there, then you can choose like a different look for your luxury stuff. Again, it's going to look good. It's not going to be great on lead capture, but one thing that everybody should look at, and I actually had a call this morning and I was like, oh yeah, we do have that. So when we share things to social media and I showed you on the profile that we're going to auto post to social media for you, you don't have to touch it, right? You just, but here, this shows you, if you click on the eyeball, this is what the post will look like. It'll have your logo here. It'll have your picture here, stuff like that, right? So if you scroll through, you might see something that you actually like. And I have this one here. So it'll have your color scheme. Maybe in this case, it doesn't have your office, but you can go through here and decide what do I want my stuff to look like when it's on social media, when it's automatically going out. And so that's the story there. You save that, you set and forget. And then as automation goes out, oh, let's see here. This might be a good one too. There are lots of templates. Yeah, this kind of looks cool. So that set all that up on your profile. That's the first part of the setup. Okay. The second part is, and we talked about it earlier. If you have a CRM and you've got a drip campaign and you're pretty confident that drip campaign is working well and getting your phone to ring, then go with it. Go connect your CRM on, on your profile and let that CRM drip campaign work for you. If you don't have a CRM and, or you do have a drip campaign turned on already and you just know, Hey, nothing's really happening. I just checked the box and that's what I have. I would really recommend that you test out our drip campaign. Now I'm in the demo account. So there's more up here. You are going to have four options, a seller lead follow-up, a buyer lead follow-up and one in Spanish too, for buyers or for sellers. So you can do both of those, right? Or all four of those, if you want. And these are actually, let me just tell you, one of our clients is, is a national trainer for KB Core. That's a big drip campaign. And it's a big CRM in the country for real estate. And they have AB tested and they're like, hey, you know what? You get open faster than we do. And I've actually had some conversations with realtors who are just shocked that our drip campaigns are actually closing appointments. If you read through here and if you want, you're one of those agents that can't sleep. You click in this link and you will see everything that we've read. It's not super deep and technical, 
it's our opinion that people almost can't read anymore. They're all either ADD or had COVID and they can't really focus. So ours is short and sweet and it offers information. They can download information. They can ask for help. And that's what keeps the conversation going. Most of the drip campaigns out of the top CRM companies, they're fairly stale right out of the can. And they don't actually generate a lot of conversations. And if you like to talk to your leads, if you want to close leads and convert leads, I suggest you test out our follow-ups. Okay. Right above it. And, and by the way, since we're here, leads is right underneath it. We email the leads to you. If you connect it to your CRM, they're going to drop in there, but they also sit right here. And if you feel like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, we're going to change this look right here. This is going to be a very important change coming in 2024. But where it says view details, that's going to tell you how many times uh, people are opening your messages and things like that. And you'll be able to add an activity, like in this case, add a phone call, things like that, so that you can work through your leads. And then we're going to create a pipeline so that you can get some sort of value of what you, of the leads you're working on and how close they're getting. And so that's going to be there. And another thing here, refer and earn. Some of you talk to a lot of different agents and if you want your own link where you can get a little referral fee uh, for anybody who's paying right there, you've got that right there. And I think there's even a few marketing invites so you can share it on social media and tell people about stuff like that. So when we're still on setups, we want to make sure we go to social content and I haven't mentioned it, but we'll, you see this calendar here. This is all automated content that we are setting up. So when you come here the first time, it's going to ask you to connect to your social media accounts, right? So you might be getting, if you're new to us, you might feel like, oh, I already did that. Right? And so maybe I don't need to do this again. Every time we ask you to connect to social media, please connect to social media. We're, we're trying to help you out here. We're doing different functions, different software. So in this case, you have to connect. And then it's going to say, okay, how often do you want us to post? It could be once a week or every day of the week, whatever you, your choice. And then we drop you on this section. Ooh, they fixed this page. Yay. Oh my God. That's awesome. I'm going to have a sip of coffee and wipe the tears from my eyes. This page has a ton of content behind it, like hundreds of articles, posts. They all have really nice photographs. We've written them in house. And because of all that, this page took forever to open up. We could be sitting here talking for 30 seconds and it would make me crazy. Sorry, you got to hear me event. But right now we fixed it. Hallelujah. And there's all kinds of topics. You just click on it and, and that's going to save it. And, and if you want to click on the eyeball, you'll see all the cool articles we've written. Again, we keep it light and we keep it conversational. And what's really cool about this is that you can set it and forget it. But the articles, the, the posts are written so lightly that we're already getting feedback from our clients that people are interacting with the post. They're starting it just to chit chat with the agents on their socials about whatever, kitchen design or outdoor living, right? So you can choose the ones that you want. That you don't have to have everything. You'll see that we have some holidays stuff here if you're in America or if you're in Canada. But one thing that is really important is we have PDF guides. Okay. And we haven't gone into PDF guides, but I'll, when you see it, you'll know why this is so important. There are 80 PDF guides, 40 for home buyers, 40 for home sellers. You are branded on every page of every guide. Each guide is about five or six pages long, not a super heavy read, but enough to start a dialogue and enough to give some information to people on various topics, 80 different topics. Now, when we go look at it later, you'll realize that you can share those one by one to your social media accounts, and that might be really fun for you. But right here, you can turn these two buttons on and save it, and we will then auto post these throughout the year with landing pages behind it so that if somebody wants to download one, they've got to give you their contact information, okay? And that's really what we're all about, get more leads for you. In this case, these are free leads. These are not paid ads or nothing like that. So we're on social content. Definitely take advantage of this, set this up. And that leaves us with kind of the four heavyweights of the system. Actually for setup, we got to finish this and that's ads. So let's click on ads. When you come here the first time, it's going to look different. 
than what I'm about to show you. It's going to be like a big white page and there's going to be one button that says connect to Facebook. And you want to connect to Facebook again, right? That's the third time, I think. And then at that point, you will be able, there'll be a message here. You see this green bar that says last synced. There's going to be a yellow one and it's going to say, accept the custom audience terms, click through and accept those terms. Okay. That's going to give you some functionality. That's frankly awesome. It's going to create this button here that says create an audience. We'll come back to it later. Then when you refresh that page, that except terms will turn, say, turn on retargeting. You want to turn on retargeting. All right. And then that's when you're ready to start running ads. We'll talk about that retargeting custom audiences in a bit. That's everything you got to do for setup. When you go through on your profile, well, let's talk about that. If you're going through the wizard, it's going to ask you, how are we going to get your listings? And really what we're looking for is the email in your MLS. Okay. And if you, if you signed up and let's say you've signed up and you're like an agent at Keller Williams, and let's say you've been in the business for 10 years, right? And 10 years ago, you work for whoever. And so your email in your MLS might be an old email. And now you work for some new firm and you signed up with that new firm name. We will not be able to see your listings because you got some old email in your MLS. So we want the MLS email, which is on your profile in your details section and put that there. Obviously you can put your picture there, picture Scott up there. So now we're all set. Any questions about that? Okay, Catherine, okay, okay. So we have just set, I'm just trying to tell you how to set up. Let's now talk about what can you actually do with listings to leads, right? We can do listing automation. We can run ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. We got all these PDF guides and we got landing pages. All right, let's go, let's start at listings. And the thing I want to tell you first is most of the time you don't all have listings, right? And you might be able to borrow somebody's listing from a, a colleague or from somebody in your office. And if that's the case, go to grab listing right here, drop in the zip code and the MLS ID. And we'll pull in that listing. It'll look like yours and all the leads captured will go directly to you. And then it'll sit on this list. So I'm going to click on market listing here. We'll go look at it. But one thing I want to tell you is a lot of our clients have through the years said, if I market my listing in your platform, I get one or two more listings, right? So I'm multiplying my listing business. If you want more listings, you want to be marketing with what I'm about to show you right now. You also want to market more than just once. I think historically, and the world is changing fast, right? In real estate, it's changing every three months. There's just something just wild happening. For you to stay on top of that, you're going to need to be aggressive in your business. I think. And especially when it comes to marketing and lead gen, because the ground is shifting. Right. What was true uh, six months ago or a year ago is not probably true right now in a lot of different areas. So one thing to think of how you can be aggressive here is you can market your home when it's just listed. The traditional way that an agent markets a home is when I get a new listing, I put it in the MLS and I just wait for the agents to bring buyers to me. And that's cool. If you want to do that, right. Keep on doing that. If you want to get a database of buyers and a database of listings. You should market that listing when it's just listed, market that listing again, when it's open house, market it again, when it's pending and then market it again, when it's sold. Okay. Now, when I say that, like market again, that's four times that you're already like, oh my God, that's going to be impossible. Half of the stuff I'm talking about to show you happens automatically. What you need to do is click this button and say, Hey, it's under contract or save an open house or say, Hey, it's just sold. And all the automation happens like that auto posting on social media. One thing that does not happen automatically, unless you set it up, because we can do it automatically, is running an ad on Facebook and Instagram. And if you are trying to get buyers, this is the fastest, cheapest way of getting buyer leads with name, email, and phone number. It is running an ad on Facebook. So since I have an open house, I want buyers right? 
All I have to do is click that button there. The ad is pre-written. It's a $35 budget for seven days. I can just boom, click create an ad. And that's it. And that's going to put an ad on Facebook with name, email, and phone numbers coming in the leads. Okay. So let's go look at Facebook. And I'm sure some of you have tried running ads and maybe you've had success and maybe you haven't. Facebook changes so much all the time that it's really hard to stay on top of it, right? It's just because you just don't know what it's going to look like next week. And so here, I don't have really an ad, but here's something is suggestive. So when we're creating the ad, as we look at the sponsor, it's sponsored by, or the, the preview, it's in, in this case, it's going to be sponsored by your business page. You'll see it right there. And this is what the ad's going to look like. And that, what we look at on the preview on the right is going to show up right here in the middle. And that's why it's so powerful because you're saying, Hey, I want everybody that lives within 15 miles of this town, which is where this home is to see that you might want to change that. You might want to say, you know what? People would drive 45 minutes to see this house. So I'm going to change that radius. You might also be living in some of the Southern low tax states. So you might want to say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to market this in Chicago because I know that people want to get out of Chicago in the winter. And I got a nice waterfront condo down in the South somewhere. Boom. Now you're able to target in multiple areas. And then you remember how I was telling you when you connect Facebook to have, to turn on custom audiences and to turn on retargeting, that's what this button here is about, right? So if you want to turn on retargeting, get rid of these things up here. And this is making an assumption that you've created a custom audience. I've got a couple here, but you can actually create audiences of homeowners and yeah, you can export all your CRM leads and call it your old CRM leads or whatever. But now you can target those audiences inside Facebook so that if those people are on Facebook, you, they're going to see your ad. Okay. So this is great because when it shows up on Facebook, if I click on the ad, I'm going to see a, a page that says, Hey, do you want that information? And their name, phone number, and email is already pulled in, populated from their profile. So nobody is typing in mickeymouse.com or whatever because it's pulled in from their profile and we all need an accurate name and email from our phone number or sorry, the name, email, and phone number from our profile because if we get locked out, that's how we get back in. So it's usually pretty good. Now, social media posts, a post is different from an ad. A post is free. Most of you agents know how to share things on social media. I see it. I'm friends with hundreds of agents around the country and I've noticed that they're really good at sharing colorful things on Facebook. They just don't capture leads. That's cool. I like colors as well. Here, it says it's auto posted. What does that mean? Remember when we were setting up on the profile, I said, hey, you can have us do auto posting, connect your socials and have us auto post landing page, stuff like that. This is a, an automated post on Facebook. Okay. You didn't have to touch this. You just had to set it up. And if somebody has interest and they click on it, we're going to drive them to either a single property website, which is what we're looking at here or a landing page. And there's a lot of lead capture here. All of these links over here are either pointing to your website or to valuation landing pages. If you scroll down, you're going to see our marketing plan, which is part of your listing presentation. Remember those PDF guides I was talking about. You want to download one, just give us your contact info here and print brochures, home value, your reviews, the rest of the listings in your account. If I click through any of these, I'm going to drop on it, which again has lead capture, but no matter what, this is going to pop up at some point automatically. And if I click on continue with Facebook, we're going to grab my name and email it to you automatically. So this is a really great way to have an automated post, go out to your socials and capture leads. A lot of our clients. It's funny. A lot of people like you, like brand new clients, they figure that part out. They like, oh yeah, I'm going to connect my social media and there's my picture and get my listings up. And the listings start auto sweeping. They start auto posting. They're so excited. They just forget about the whole rest of the platform because 
they can't even believe that they're getting leads for doing practically nothing. Right. But the deeper you go into the system, the more leads you're going to get and the higher quality leads you're getting. So here's something here, seller uh, for se seller social media. This is something that we email to you and we give you instructions. We say, hey, put that on your, get, give that to your homeowner and have them put that on their social media accounts. This is designed to get you leads that are more like a referral. We got lots of ways for you to capture random internet leads, right? And that's cool. I don't know if you're really good at converting random internet leads, but you're probably going to get be better at converting a lead of your current clients, relatives or colleagues or just friends, right? They're, in this case, your client is letting people know that you are their realtor. And if you use this when the property is sold, it's going to thank you for selling the home, say you do an excellent job and put your phone number and email right in front of everybody on Facebook. This is something that you should be opening and using as soon as you start working with us. I'm just going through a few highlights here. I'm not going through everything on this column. This is the number one tool for getting listing leads that turn into listing contracts. Okay. If I click print and mail, you'll notice that we have integration with a company called Express Copy and that you can say, hey, let's use Express Copy and let's mail out 100 pieces in a one mile radius to all the homeowners that have had six years or more of equity. Bang, click, submit. It's a buck 85 per letter. Scott and I, we launched this integration probably about a year ago and we were really excited because for years, we have known because of the feedback from our clients, that is the number one tool for getting listing leads that turn into listing contracts. Do you remember how, when we started the call, I said, this lady is like printing this on the back and she's handwriting these things on the, this is more work, right? Maybe a little less money, but actually when you take in the time, she's saying he's got four hours, four hours. Why would she do that? Because when she sends out 100 of these, She's got four listing calls, right? People, she, now she knows four people are interested in the value of her home. She, when she mailed out the second, and hopefully I, I'll ask her, uh, let, let me ask her real quick. Hey, let's see here. Second mailing. And people ask questions, right? And our, our client, oh yeah, here's, the, oh, that's my question. Yeah. You can, our clients are helping each other understand and learn what's going on. Another guy who uses that same letter, and I would really recommend that you look at what these people have said in our mastermind group, especially if you want more listings, because they're sharing for quite a while. Chris Winstead is another person. Dustin Fox is another person as well, who have been leaning heavily on this. This guy here has an interesting story. He does make some really cool videos, as you can see. Um, he moved to San Antonio, Texas in that first summer of COVID, which was a freaky time in real estate, a uh, freaky time in the country, but also in real estate. And he moved there because his wife, her family's there and they have kids. So they wanted to be by her family and that's cool. But they moved from out of state. So he was a realtor, but he was not, has no name recognition in this town, but they buy a, a home in a nice neighborhood. And he's, hey, I want to be the man in this neighborhood. I want to dominate this area. What am I going to do? And he finds us. And he, I'll just show you what he does. He says, yeah, he says, I send out letters every other week to neighbors who own their homes for five years or more. And once they opt in on the home value page, I hit them up every week with phone calls, bomb letters left via mail and letters left at the door. Okay. So there's a lot of work right there, right? That's like weekly follow-up. Now, He's not getting a hundred leads every time he mails these out, right? Pat's already told you she's got four. She mailed out a hundred, she got four. This guy in a three month period gets five listings, but he's working on all those leads and that's why he's got five listings. Now, I wanted to tell you one more thing. You remember how I said he moved from out of state, so he joins all city there. Within two years, he becomes the top listing agent in that office. And he starts his own company. And the very first thing he does is he creates a video on YouTube and a channel 
to talk about, hey, here's how I customize listings to leads to get more listings, right? So he is telling people, join me because I know how you can make money. You might want to go check out that video. I actually watched it. It's a little bit techy, but he's right what he's talking about. This is the easy way. Use Express Copy. Don't fold it yourself. Chris over there bought a list from Remind.com and he mailed it out himself because what we're looking at right here did not exist. So we have made it easy because we know how much our clients like easy things to do. But maybe it's not as effective as handwriting envelopes and doing what Pat Motley is doing, right? Here's the electronic version. If you have a lot of people in your CRM, copy this, copy the code up here, blast it out once a, a week, right? Up here on the top, you can click on those links, your picture and become a buyer lead right below. It's going to affect your home value. Go, go get your listing value. Now we create short form video scripts. If you'd like to do video for TikTok and Instagram and stuff, download it. There's the script. Single property websites. We looked at that. Virtual tours. There's a whole open house marketing system. All mobile optimized. QR codes are popular ever since COVID. So maybe you want to use that. Postcards and door hangers. Again, you may not know this, but print's been around longer than the internet. And I can tell you this, nobody ever gets leads from print, even though it's been around so much longer. Why? No call to actions. What are you doing in print? You got your branding, you got your colors, and you got your phone number, and hopefully a really beautiful pic of you. Ours has all that fun stuff, but it also has on the front, hey, go check out the home at that web address. Go if, and then flip it over. That's going to affect your home value. Go get your free home value. Call to actions in print. If you're going to do anything in print in your farm markets, get our designs and use them. If you're a blogger, God bless you. There's tools there are going to help capture leads there as well. Even Craigslist still generates leads. And like I mentioned earlier, we put stuff up on YouTube. We talked about social content. We didn't go too deep into PDF guides. So let's go look at that real quickly. I did mention there are 80. And you can focus on buyers or you can focus on sellers, your choice. And, but I do want you to be aware here, right? We did look at this. Facebook ads, social media, e-flyer for your CRM database, print flyers, postcard. Now you're getting it. Yeah. We've got tools that people need. We have assets. We have content that people need. We got multiple ways to get it out. Take advantage of it. Some of these things are flat out free. A Facebook ad costs money, right? Landing pages. We didn't talk about this, but I'm going to jump out of this account real quick. I'm going to see if I can get into a client. You, you may not know this, but we have team accounts and office accounts and I set those up. And so last week I was uh, setting up a lady here who's going to uh, launch her office account, but she wanted to keep things in. I just tested it out a little bit. And she set up a, a demo account and right away she was like, oh, I saw your new construction because everybody gets free home value, down pay assistance and new construction. And I told her like, oh yeah, you can go use this, but we'll just have a look at what she did with this. So this new construction, they're going to pay two months of your rent on your current home if you move into their new home. And there's a time limit on that. You can see there's one week and three days while this incentive is in place. So she's run this deal and she's created this. And I'm not sure. Let's go see. Let's go see if she's running out on it. Um, I hope she's running out on it because she uh, doesn't look like it. So she needs to do that. But maybe she's using it in a different way. She's probably sharing it to her socials. But I'm going to go back here because there's another thing that was really cool too. So they're in San Antonio. And I told you, we create this automatically, right? This is part of your account. You want to make sure that background picture looks like your area, right? Like maybe you're, you're just click edit in tools and change the background pic of uh, right there. And so when you click on edit, we drop you right there. It says upload image. And a good example of that is this San Antonio one. She's actually, I think she's in San Antonio. And this is her San Antonio. I don't know if you know this. This is like the Riverwalk, really pretty place downtown. So you want a picture in the background that looks like your area so that people, when they land on it and 
let's just make the assumption they don't know who you are and you're marketing in print or you blasted it on a flyer or you did an ad, somebody lands on this page and they don't know who you are, why are they going to give you their address and contact information if they don't even know who you are? This photograph can actually establish a bit of trust that you know their area, right? So that's actually as simple as that sounds is very important. So let's see, since we're in her account, I think she's connected to Facebook. Yeah, let's see. So you can run ads, right? So we talked about PDF guides, landing pages. You can create landing pages. We can create an ad on a property that's just listed, just like this. Create an ad, choose a property. And remember, you can change the status to open house or pending or whatever. This ad is pre-written, just like this. And boom, you publish. And that's going to go out. And that's going to get leads with name, email, and phone number. Now, you could also say, you know what? I want to create an ad for a, P a PDF guy. And let's go here. And we've got 80. And you know that you're branded on every page. So why wouldn't you want to get this in front of a lot of people? If you create an ad, and we'll, we'll give it a second for this thing to, to think. It's going to be, if it's for home buyers, it's going to be for... Uh, $35. If it's for home sellers, it's going to be for, it's going to be a $50 ad. And that's because seller lead costs more. And so a, a lead from a PDF guide for homeowners is probably around um, $10 each. Okay. So if, you, if, they're, if Facebook is charging $10 per lead and you have a $50 ad, you're going to get five leads. And when people respond, they're going to, uh, that's going to chew up 10 bucks off of your 50 and they can download it. Now I might not do this. I actually, you could do this, but I do want to remind you, let's go over here. Let's go over here. We'll do one more. So that's how you can create an ad on a PDF guide. Let's create an ad. If I can find it. Oh, uh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> Sorry. Guy. Oh, that's, oh, we're on a tree lane. Sorry. My poor brain. Not sure what I'm doing. I'm clicking on things around here. We looked at the San Antonio page. You can create your own landing pages, right? I, they've got that San Antonio one. And then you can go here to the ad section and say, hey, I want to create an ad for the San Antonio. So I want to point this out because this is a big opportunity and also a big hurdle. Okay. Now, this kind of ad, like, hey, get your homework, right? Click on this. This has been around for at least 10 years. And a lot of companies have landing pages like the one that I've shown you, right? Like this one here. Um, and uh, I don't know if you know this, I, if you ever heard of Boomtown. Boomtown, I don't know if they still do it, I hope not, but who knows. They used to charge $250 a month just to add this little landing page to your website. Okay, now the website, the Boomtown website is horribly inex expensive as well. But just for that was 250 bucks. There, what homevalues.com used to charge 60 a month to get this. And then prime seller leads again, somewhere at 75 bucks or so. And you get unlimited landing pages. You create unlimited free home value pages. You probably are trying to build your business in four or five different markets at least, right? So you need one of these for every one of them. But here's the problem. Facebook has been slapped with a, with a lawsuit by HUD uh, a few years ago for illegal ads. And had we been talking five years ago, you could type in San Antonio and you could click a button and say, I just want the homeowners who own homes in San Antonio. And you click that button, you get a bunch of leads because it would be targeting exactly those people who owned a home in San Antonio. That was a great time. But everything changes. And that's not how this thing works anymore. What happens, and San Antonio may not be a good example. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to jump out of here because I really want you to understand this. San Antonio is a very big sprawling town. So that, that might work. Okay. But I lived in a place, and some of you do too, where I'm not, I'm in a small town, right? My town is 24,000 people. 
And if you drive five minutes north, you're going to see another town which has 30,000 people. And if you drive about 10 miles uh, west, there's another town with about 20,000 people. Uh, I'm trying to get to ads here and, and so that you understand this. And then five minutes away is Walnut Creek, and that has a bunch of homes as well. So there's just, and, and so if you're running an ad, I don't know if you've looked at Facebook in a long time, but when you're running an ad on Facebook, you cannot target tighter than 15 miles. Okay. And that is the biggest problem going on. So let's go to, let's go look at Concord. Okay. Concord's just real close, five minute drive from where I live, great little town. And I created the landing page with the, the, the park in the middle of town, like a town square, right? There's a lot, lots of restaurants and you walk your dogs, there's Thursday live music shows and all that. And so you would think, yeah, I created a landing page and I want to run an ad and I'm going to target those people that live in Concord. But what I'm telling you is you can't actually do that. So what happens when you do a, an ad like this? So let's go look and get an idea. So you, this, I can tell you this, what I'm telling you, it might feel like it's going in the weeds for you. Okay. I get this call so often. We see it so often in the mastermind group of people who are running ads on that super generic page like this and not getting any leads and they're upset. They're like frustrated, right? That's because this is not going to work at all, right? I, I want to show you this map. Do you see this little white area here? This is Concord, California. You see all these little cities here in this, in this map that we're looking at? All of these people are going to see that ad. When really, I just want to target these people here, but Facebook will not allow me to do that because I had to slap them, right? What do I do? That's where you go in and you create a custom audience. And you buy that list from Remind or Red X or Home, whatever, or maybe your MLS or maybe your title partner, and you upload it into listings to leads and you target not people living within 50 miles of Concord. You create the audience right here. Please use this. This is the format. It has to look just like this. And you call it Concord Homeowners, right? Or you call it whatever you want to call it. It has to be 1,000 leads deep. You can't have a list of 250 homes and Facebook's not going to let you use that, okay? So once you've created that custom audience, now you can use Facebook for some really great ads. Now it becomes very powerful. So anything that you're going to, let's imagine, let's imagine that you're new. Okay, so I'm going to run an ad back on Concord. Let's just say we're going to focus on one area, right? I know most of you are working in half dozen towns, but I'm not going to do this up here. I'm going to turn on retargeting and I'm going to pull up one of my custom audience lists, right? Um, I don't have one for Concord. It, it should say, I should have one that says Concord homeowner, right? And then you can see that and you would, it would show up just like that. And this would target those people. And I know they're target homeowners because I bought it from somebody. I'm not just using Facebook at 15 mile radius kind of stuff. That's an important thing that you need to remember. And if you're going to have listings in your business, you want to look at that. And let's see, what have we talked about? I think they've talked about everything, everybody. Let's go look at ads one more time. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't talk about Google. I talk a lot about Facebook and. A lot of agents, a lot of realtors have been, they have a big solid presence on Facebook. A lot of realtors don't have a big solid presence on, they don't even like social media. They don't understand it. And I get it. It's, it's horrible, but it is, Facebook is a place where American adults spend 40 minutes every day. They're just looking at this thing. They're looking at what their friends did over the weekend. They're looking at their grandkids. They're looking at their vacation spots that they want to go. Me, I follow rest. I, I follow all kinds of recipes. I like to cook and I put that there. I, and so I'm following like food stuff and old movie stuff. I like all that stuff. So 
this is good for me. And this is why uh, American adults love this, right? It's the number three website in the country. Number three, American adults spend 40 minutes every day here. Look at that delicious thing here. Yeah, 40 minutes. They'll be driving their car. They'll be in a meeting. You're probably looking at your Facebook right now, tired of listening to me. You, you'll be standing in line at Starbucks and you will be looking at Facebook. And that's why it's so effective. Say, hey, I got an open house. Click here. Oh, okay. Got it. I'm interested. Right. But when people have a question, if they need to find out, hey, what's a good place to get a hotel in Miami or where can I get a good steak in, in New York or how do I sell my home? 86% of all people around the world come to google.com. And you should probably type in some searches like this into your, into your Google browser and find out who's gobbling up your market, right? And how do you compete there? How do you get there? Well, you go over to ads and you click on Google, create a Google ad. When you come here the first time, it's going to say, Hey, you got to subscribe this software. We actually have Google software. It's $30 a month. It's an add on but it makes running ads so easy. So I'm going to run an ad on Concord, right? If we did it on Facebook, of course we would do it on Google and we would do it in print. And if I could bust out an email list of people in Concord, I would just keep targeting them from all avenues, right? So here it's much easier. I just type in Concord. Now, if you had to go do this inside of, inside of Google, it would be so ugly. All you got to do is click publish. Now I want to point out, we put a $50 a day budget. That is high. So when I tell you that Google is the number one website in the country and in the world, you have to assume that they're going to charge you for their leads more than any other company. They charge you more than Facebook. So when I run an ad on a property on Facebook that is sold, I get charged, and this is not a sold ad. I get charged like, what? $7 a lead, okay? If I run an ad like this on Facebook, what is your home worth? And we looked at that. We could run one for San Antonio or for Concord or whatever. Those leads can often cost $15 a lead, right? But when I run an ad on Google and I'm using the same exact landing page, I'm pointing people here, get your free home value. These leads can cost anywhere from 15 to 25 to $30. I know in Texas, and I was just talking to a team in Texas this morning, um, they get charged $30 a lead on for sellers in Dallas. So I don't know where you're sitting and, and the price of leads is it's set on an auction system. How many people are competing against you? right? If you have a lot of competitors, a lot of realtors running ads for these kinds of keywords, your cost is going to go up. So let me give you a pro tip about advertising on Facebook and Google and its relation to real estate. In just a few days here, if you're in the U.S., we're going to have a big holiday where people eat lots of turkey and mashed potatoes and delicious food. And right around then, the bulk of your competitors, other realtors like you are going to be taking a nap until spring. And that can be good for you if you're still advertising because the cost of leads can drop easily by 50%. Sometimes I've seen years where it drops by 75%. And I've even seen leads drop by 90%. Meaning if it costs you a dollar a lead, it now is going to cost you 10 cents a lead. You probably are aware this is a weird, strange year. Weird news from Zillow. Weird news regarding commissions. Just all kinds of weird stuff. And so I remember over the summer, I was hearing like, oh, a lot of people are not renewing their licenses, right? A lot of realtors are walking out because commissions are high and it's just not as easy. And so if that's going on and you want to build your database cheaply, with either buyer leads or with seller leads, the winter months is a good time to do that. This might be a good opportunity for you. And it also gives you a head start to run hard in 2024. So that's my story for you guys. Any questions? If you need a team account, 
or if you need an office account, email me at Vince at Listings to Leads. This call is being recorded. It will be up on our YouTube channel. Ask our support team to get in the YouTube, get a link to the YouTube channel if you can't find it, and definitely ask them to get you in the mastermind group. And check out those names of Dustin Fox, of uh, Alicia Pless, of Chris Winstead, and definitely check out these videos. I think if, if you're going to have quiet time at home, I'm sure you want to check out sports and some rom-coms and whatever. I like the sci-fis, but invest a little time in learning how to unlock the value of listings to leads, and you will get a great return for that time. Bye, everybody. Thanks a lot. I don't see any questions. Oh, I'm licensed in two states. Yeah. Daryl, are you using the same logo in two states? Or are you with the same house, same office? Or are you with two different kinds of brands or stuff like that? Different company. You're going to need two different agent accounts to do that then. Unless one of them doesn't care how your, what your branding looks like. Because it's pulling off of one profile, one logo, one pic, one phone number, all that stuff, email. Yeah, if you're operating in two areas, that's, you're going to need two different accounts. All right. Okay, everybody. I don't see any other questions. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Enjoy the holidays. Don't eat too much. <laughs> you should eat too much. It's the best time for that. So take it easy, everybody. See you in the mastermind group. Bye-bye.